Welcome to the HFY Tales channel. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the story. Enjoy and take care. A landscape that will be permanently scarred by the violence of conflict was left behind as a result of the war that ravaged the planet of Zethra. There were only ruins left where once thriving cities had flourished. These were the remnants of a civilization that had been reduced to dust and sorrow. A gloomy sky loomed above, perpetually choked with dark clouds of smoke, which served as a gloomy reminder of the chaos and destruction that characterizes day-to-day -day life. The shattered buildings that stood all around were like tombstones, and they whispered stories of a world that had once been prosperous. In the streets, people were searching desperately for supplies to sustain themselves, and they were scavenging through the wreckage and debris that was lying around. Distant echoes of gunfire echoed ominously, marking the ongoing conflict between the various alien inhabitants of Zethra and the human forces that had invaded their domain. The aliens were drenched in bitter despair as they attempted to defend their territory. It was a chaotic existence in which people of various races struggled to survive in the midst of the never-ending tide of war. As a result of the conflict, Rena, a skilled warrior belonging to the Urethan people, was shaped and shaped even further. Her striking silver hair was woven into intricate braids, and her skin was a deep azure color that shimmered in the small amount of light that was available. She fought tooth and nail to defend her people. During the time that she was leading her fellow soldiers into battle, adrenaline was coursing through her veins, which fed her determination to defend her home. The faces of her family and friends became distant ghosts, overshadowed by the never-ending struggle for survival. Memories of laughter reverberated in her mind, and they clashed against the harsh reality of violence that she could not see. The mantle of a protector, a warrior who embraced the virtues of strength, honor, and duty, was the foundation upon which her complete life was constructed. But it is possible for even the most powerful warriors to fail. In the event that Rena was taken captive during a desperate attempt to reclaim a city that had been destroyed, she was aware that the time had come for her to confront the harsh reality that humans were relentless invaders, and that her demise was imminent. As Rena and her team began their assault on a human outpost, the atmosphere was filled with a charged energy that buzzed throughout the atmosphere. At first glance, the plan appeared to be flawless. Eliminate the guards, retrieve vital supplies and intelligence, and then vanish into the darkness. While Rena continued to press forward, her heart continued to beat in time with the unrelenting rhythm of engagement. The threads of their destinies, however, were twisted by fate, which was like a cruel trickster. Their hopes were dashed when they experienced the unanticipated arrival of human reinforcements. Rena and her fellow soldiers were completely overpowered when the soldiers suddenly materialized out of the shadows like a terrifying nightmare. Come back down, Rena yelled, her voice resonating with the necessity of the situation as she struggled to guide her team in the direction of safety. But they were engulfed in chaos. A barrage of gunfire erupted like thunder, each shot serving as a reminder that the illusion of survival was ultimately a fleeting one. Rena deflected attacks with grace, her movements fluid and practiced, the weight of her duty driving her determination to do what she needed to do. Even in the thick of the conflict, she sensed a shadowy presence creeping into her resolve, and it was doubt. Hadn't they been preparing themselves for situations like this beforehand? She was already able to hear the loud and abrasive clang of weapons colliding with one another, as well as the cries of her fellow soldiers mingling with her own ferocious shouts. In spite of the fact that their numbers were growing with each passing moment, the humans were unrelenting. Suddenly, something slammed into her side and the pain that she was experiencing exploded bright and vivid as the electrical current of a stun pulse penetrated her body. She experienced a blurring of her vision as the world began to transform into a kaleidoscope of chaos that immediately turned black. She found herself imprisoned in a cold metallic cell, which she later discovered to be an alien holding cell when she awoke. She struggled against her restraints, only to discover that her wrists were shackled in heavy chains. This moment caused her to experience a surge of panic. As a constant reminder of her confinement, each clank reverberated loudly. The only source of illumination in the dim room 
was a single light bulb that flickered, and it cast shadows that were sinister across the cold floors and walls. It was possible for her to hear footsteps echoing through the corridors, in addition to the distant chatter that she could hear, and each noise made her anxiety worse. When the door opened with a creak, it revealed a human soldier named Ethan. He was tall, with rugged features and a hardened expression that carried the weight of his past. It was the kind of expression that could only be earned through experiences that were steeped in experience that was filled with bloodshed and guilt. His comrades spoke with contempt about the brutality of Urethan warriors, referring to them as barbarians in their description of them. In spite of this, Ethan experienced a disturbing stirring within him as he turned his attention to Reyna, the fierce spirit that was confined in a cage. Is there something you want from me? The voice of Rena was shaking with a mixture of fear and anger as she spat out in a defiant manner. Do you intend to have me killed? As Ethan looked at her intently, he pondered the significance of the words she had spoken. He was confronted with a violent conflict between the truths he had learned during the war and the monstrous image that his fellow soldiers had painted of him. He slowly responded, I'm not here to kill you, and his tone of voice became increasingly urgent as he delivered his words. Please provide me with information regarding the resistance to Urethan. All of Rena's instincts were screaming at her to be wary of this human being, and her heart was racing. Were you playing a cruel game with the intention of manipulating her? Was this man really under the impression that she would cooperate? It was clear to her that he was evaluating her worth, and she could see the flickering uncertainty in his eyes. She anticipated nothing less than brutality despite the fact that her instincts told her otherwise. Why would I betray those who are close to me? The expression of defiance was etched across her features as she shot back. Each and every instinct that she possessed was opposed to the idea of trust. The moment Ethan took a step forward, she was taken aback by the unexpected warmth that emanated from him. This warmth was a contrast to the icy tone of his command. Because I am of the opinion that this war is not justified. I have faith that we will be able to find a way out of this mess. There is a promise that I will assist you in escaping if you help me. The room was filled with silence for a considerable amount of time, which was a tense standoff between two unlikely allies who were each dealing with enormous burdens that were shaking the very core of their beings respectively. Rena's heart was filled with a glimmer of hope, which was struggling against the resolute walls of her mistrust. With a tone that was as sharp as a knife, she finally gave in and said, Fine, but you had better keep your word, the speaker said. If you betray me, I will not think twice about taking your life. A newfound respect began to ignite in Ethan's heart as he listened to her declaration, and he couldn't help but smile at the severity of her words. While they were prowling the dimly lit corridors of the facility that held her captive, they started to formulate a strategy for escaping the facility that held her captive. There are four. Taking a turn. While they were in the process of making their getaway, Rena experienced a whirlwind of feelings coming from within her, including a mixture of excitement and fear. Ethan moved stealthily beside her, his eyes sharply searching for guards, which was a striking contrast to the confinement she were under. There was a peculiar bond that was woven from the threads of fear and desperation that was growing between them, and it was a connection that was not spoken about. When they looked at each other, Rena felt a surge of electricity course through her veins. There was something about him that illuminated her heart, in ways that made the mission they were on even more critically important. It's possible that the glimmer of understanding and the flicker of kindness that she could feel emanating from him was what sparked something unexpected in her. It's over there, Ethan murmured, pointing toward a hangar that was open to the public. The empty space was illuminated by a dim light that flickered and glowed, illuminating the path that could lead them to freedom. They approached with a sense of apprehension, readiness enveloping each and every one of their subtle movements. They hurriedly entered the hangar together, moving cautiously toward a small hovercraft as they made their way from the hangar. In addition to the fear that was racing through her body, Reyna's heart was pounding as adrenaline coursed through her body. They were at the point in time where they could finally realize their full potential 
and escape the clutches of this war. Come on in. As they loaded onto the ship, Ethan urged them to do so. Rena's concentration was sharpened with each and every throb of excitement and dread. While Ethan navigated the controls and propelled them into the starry abyss above, her body buzzed with the energy that would propel them forward. During their flight, Rena was awestruck by the breathtaking beauty of the stars, a sight that she had almost forgotten about due to the chaos that she had experienced in her previous life. Each glimmering point of light served as a beacon of hope, serving as reminders of dreams that had not yet been realized and shedding light on the way to freedom. A thrilling adventure was waiting for them as they flew across the shattered remnants of Zathra's surface. Rena experienced a surge of exhilaration throughout her body, as the excitement of the pursuit reawakened her most basic instincts. She became more and more aware of the freedom that they had been searching for such a long time with each passing moment. However, the currents of fate were unpredictable. As long as Ethan was in charge, they were able to break free, but this came at the expense of letting others know about their escape. As time went on, the tranquil stars were quickly engulfed by dark vessels, which formed menacing silhouettes that cast shadows across the cockpit. Ethan, we have some guests here, Rena yelled very suddenly, her heart beating very quickly. Despite the fact that they were no longer in danger, she was overcome with a crushing sense of panic. Now hold on, Ethan responded, keeping his composure at the controls as he struggled to avoid being caught by the ships that were approaching. Despite the fact that each maneuver presented a new challenge, Rena's determination served as a pillar, thereby strengthening their connection despite the pressure. Try to avoid and weave, don't worry about me. As Rena prepared to confront their adversaries head on, she gave the instruction, feeling the adrenaline pumping through her body. As she aimed her sidearm toward the ships that were pursuing her, she tightened her grip on it. At the precise moment when they broke through the atmosphere, Rena jumped out of the hovercraft and onto an enemy ship. This choice, which was both reckless and fervent, propelled her forward. As she engaged in exhilarating combat against the mercenaries, she fought bravely, demonstrating the incomprehensible abilities that were developing within her. While this was going on, Ethan continued to operate the controls, his heart beating in time with her movements as he watched her fierce spirit come to life. She was a force of nature, like a comet hurtling through the universe, leaving a trail of fiery defiance and vibrant fire in her wake behind her. As the war played out in the background, each fervent battle cry served as a source of inspiration for him, thereby bringing their spirits together. The sound of blaster fire thundering like a living entity, a heartbeat echoing the rhythm of their lives, became audible as the afternoon blasters clashed with one another. The realization came to him all of a sudden, shedding light on a connection that went beyond their very existence. This was not merely a matter of survival. Rather, it was a demonstration of the decisions that they had brought about, a defiance against the conditions that had caused them to be separated. Rena lowered herself back into the hovercraft after the final mercenary had been defeated. She was out of breath, but energized by the experience. Something within her had been reawakened as a result of the fight. It was an embodiment of her strength that reawakened both pride and vulnerability. She felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude and acknowledgement as she turned to face Ethan. Despite the fact that adrenaline was still working its way through her veins, she exclaimed, I can't believe we did that. Doesn't it seem like we're quite the team? Ethan responded, a proud smile spreading across his face as he took in the wreckage that they had left behind from their crash. Who would have thought that a human soldier and an extraterrestrial warrior could go on to become partners. The sound of Rena's laughter was unfiltered and liberating. This connection that we are forming, it caught us off guard. It never occurred to me that I would come across someone like you, in particular, in the midst of all this mayhem. There was a sense of camaraderie that developed between them as a result of their escape. It was an unbreakable tether that was forged in the fires of adversity. Rena was overcome with an intense desire to safeguard Ethan with the same ferocity with which she feared for the safety of her people. How were they able to maintain their unity in the face of a destiny that was designed to tear apart their worlds? While the days turned into weeks of unpredictability and excitement, 
the threat of harm continued to be present at all times. As they made their way through the crumbling landscape, a dangerous storm was already brewing on the horizon. Roran, who had been Rena's former ally, had transformed into a hunter, a mercenary who directs bounty hunters to pursue them with unrelenting determination. His face, which had been familiar from the beginning, became twisted and distorted, contorted with vengeance that obscured all rational thought. Whenever Rena was confronted with the possibility of a confrontation, the shadows of their past loomed heavily, and the scars on her body pulled taut. She felt the weight of their shared memories heavy upon her heart when they were forced to confront Roran. It was a fragile bridge that had possibly been irrevocably severed by the realities of war on their part. Why are you willing to take his side? Roran hissed, pointing a finger toward Ethan, the being with whom Rena had formed a bond despite the fact that he was an unlikely partner. He will only help you fall into ruin. Everything that humanity wants is control. Rena took a step forward, her heart beating erratically, but her determination rising to a higher level. Much too much has been lost for us to continue in this cycle. Roran, what exactly took place with you? Just like me, you used to be a protector who fought for our people all the time. I am still acting as a protector, Rena, he spat, his face contorting in rage as he did so. Indeed, you have betrayed our heritage. You have abandoned the people who are important to you. Her memories came flooding back to her in a flash of agony. The warmth of friendship engulfed her thoughts and pulled her into the past, which was both bittersweet and heartbreaking. This was the friend she had fought alongside in the past. The two of them had shared a dream of a brighter future together. Her voice was tinged with desperation as she pleaded, Together we forged bonds that would mend our world. Are you unable to comprehend the anguish that each of us goes through? The grief that we all carry together? However, her words were not heard by anyone. Eventually, Roran's rage reached a boiling point, which ignited a spark that would burn brightly. The confrontation escalated into a bloody conflict as a result of the resolute determination that was set against the backdrop of the agony. The air was thick with the aroma of gunpowder, sweat, and the fervor of those who were fighting for their lives. The screams of the belligerents reverberated throughout the desolate area as they screamed their violent cries. At the precise moment when Roran was gaining the upper hand and aiming for Rena's heart, Ethan lunged forward, putting himself in danger in order to bring her closer. During that brief period of chaos, the weight of their connection served as a mooring for them, and a fierce surge of yearning coursed through their veins. Under his breath he whispered, I choose to protect you, as he pulled Rena into a kiss that was simultaneously desperate and electrifying. With a renewed sense of purpose, Rena felt the fire ignite within her, despite the fact that the battle was growing around them. She stepped forward with a fierce determination that rippling through her every move, proving that she was no longer the warrior he believed had given in to betrayal. The kiss gave her the confidence to realize that love could be the spark that ignited a rebellion against hatred. As the intensity of the confrontation increased, the fragments of her history began to come together. The weight of memory needed to be released in order to free herself from the dull ties that bound her to the past. Roran was taken aback by Rena's unexpected and reckless determination, which she displayed by redirecting her agility. This was the final blow, and with it came the end of her connection to the things that had shaped her life for such a long time. A significant turning point was reached as a result of the victory, which reshaped every aspect of their shared existence. Not only did Rena's heart hurt for Roran, who had become disoriented, but it also hurt for the realization that the decision she had made had marked the course of her journey. A wave of liberation, mixed with grief, was brought about as a result of the aftermath. Has he really vanished? As Ethan surveyed the wreckage of what had occurred, he asked the question with a voice that was barely audible through the whisper. In response, Reyna said, Yes, with a tone that was thick with emotion. He wasn't always like this, she said. Together we fought for peace and dreamed of it, but now it seems like a thing of the past. What followed was a period of silence, during which they came to an understanding, a mutual acknowledgement of the burdens that they carried. All of them worked together to move forward, 
reuniting with the determination to carry on with their struggle to bring their warring peoples together and bridge the gap between them. While they were on their way back to their base, they gathered together human and urethan forces and stood together. When Reyna made arrangements for an urgent meeting, she felt a mixture of hope and trepidation in her heart. She would take a position in front of the political leaders of both sides and advocate for a peaceful resolution, which was a thought that carried a lot of weight. Rena proclaimed, with a voice that was determined and unyielding, Together, we have the ability to forge alliances that save lives. We are able to demonstrate to both of our peoples the beauty that can be found in acceptance and understanding. The fabric of our worlds is rich and intricate. It is imperative that we acquire the ability to coexist. At the same time that the leaders were exchanging suspicious glances, a nervous energy crackled through the air. Rena, however, did not falter. Rather than that, she stood taller, sensing that Ethan's unwavering gaze provided her with strength. As weeks turned into months, their nascent efforts started to come together and form a cohesive whole. Using her ability to facilitate dialogues, Rena started to guide conversations, which led to the development of plans for peace that included the sharing of cultural traditions, educational programs, and joint ventures that would assist in the healing of the severed bonds. On the other hand, the underlying currents of dissatisfaction were not far below the surface. Many people continued to be wary, clinging to their prejudices and traditions. In order for Rena and Ethan to fulfill their commitment, they would have to overcome centuries of hostility, which was a difficult task that required a great deal of bravery. There were still tense moments that were lurking in the areas nearby. Infuriated by the prospect of reconciliation, factions from both sides attempted to undermine the efforts of the other. Even in the midst of the flurry of hope, shadows loomed, serving as a constant reminder that healed wounds that had been festering required more than just words. The leaders of both species finally got together for a meeting, which provided them with the chance to lay the groundwork for a peace that would come to last. Despite the fact that the atmosphere was filled with apprehension, the tension was tightly woven with an unquenchable hope. As Reyna proclaimed with fervor, today marks a pivotal moment. She looked around at the gathering, which was filled with a variety of expressions, including skepticism, anticipation, and anticipation. Do we continue to cause each other harm, or do we collaborate in order to transform our suffering into a source of strength? Forging the connections that were necessary to repair what had been broken was something that she desired so fervently. Under the scrutiny of the light, their past grievances throbbed like wounds, despite the fact that they were on the verge of change happening. Rena inhaled deeply, allowing her resolve to take the place of her uncertainty. The conversation continued to weave intricate patterns of tension as the minutes turned into hours. The weight of long-held animosities began to dissipate, which was seeded by Rena's unwavering conviction throughout the course of time. Eventually, something shifted in the air. During the course of the subsequent days, she witnessed people gradually becoming more open to the prospect of a future that they could share together. 9. Hash 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 8. It is resolved. Rena and Ethan discovered that their dedicated efforts were gaining momentum as a result of maintaining their perseverance. In a gradual manner, leaders started addressing the fractures in their narratives, realizing that the only way to achieve healing was to comprehend each other's pasts. The fact that Hope was able to overcome all barriers was demonstrated by the fact that Rena remained at the forefront of the fight, advocating for unity while Ethan worked alongside her. Rena and Ethan introduced programs that were designed to promote peace, educational initiatives that highlighted the value of both cultures. These programs showed signs of lifting the gloom that had previously engulfed their lives. In the midst of the war that had nearly consumed their souls, they shared their own personal stories, which included examples of moments of fear, resilience, and love. At that moment, the beginning of a new chapter was in front of them. In spite of the fact that uncertainty may have persisted, the seeds of a hopeful coalition have blossomed into a force that can actually bring about change. Rather than a relationship based on betrayal, humanity formed a partnership with the Urethan people. This partnership was built upon shared histories, 
Since the beginning, Rena and Ethan have been working tirelessly to close the gap and lead their people toward a more promising future. They were immersed in the hope of transformation as they moved through the war-torn landscape, which filled their spirits with a sense of elation. After what seemed like an eternity, Rena was finally able to witness something glorious. The formation of cultural celebrations in which humans and urethans came together in jubilant unity. Laughter, music, and a monument to synergy were all present. It was a realization that previous factions could become a shared legacy of unity. While walking hand in hand, they watched the beginning of this new era. As they stood together, Rena and Ethan witnessed the beginning of a new chapter in their shared narrative, which was full of potential and promise. With their arms intertwined, they rejoiced in the love that was growing despite the destruction. It was a tenacious bond that had been forged from their successful history. They were aware deep down in their own hearts that difficulties would continue to appear. In spite of this, they were able to build a love that was able to endure the passage of time, push the limits of what was possible, and transcend even the most dreary of legacies. Rena and Ethan basked in the warmth of hope as the sun sank below the horizon on a peaceful evening. The sun's rays illuminated the faces of leaders from both sides of the conflict. As the sky turned violet, they watched their world start over, eagerly anticipating the possibility of coming together and understanding one another. Together, with determination and love serving as their guiding light, they ventured forth into the vast unknown, eager to confront whatever might possibly come their way. The Final Steps In this version, the characters are developed further by delving into their feelings, relationships, and the challenges they face. Additionally, the narrative is strengthened by the inclusion of several additional scenes and rich details. In the event that you have any additional modifications in mind or aspects that you would like to investigate further, please let me know, and I will be more than happy to assist you.